The longer, the older the concrete is, before it gets placed, the more heat that's being generated. So the fresher that concrete is when it gets placed, the less heat that that concrete's going to have. Is that the only reason why it's better to be fresher? No. <laughs> so what else is going on with, with concrete over the course of time? We lose slump over the course of time, so we're having to compensate by retempering, right? We've been, we've been beat up. Uh, by Alberta Ready Mix Association because we can't retemper. So with mobile mixers, we can't retemper concrete. Um, actually, retempering concrete, meaning we've batched it, then we add water to increase the slump again, is a practice that that most engineers frown upon. They say no retempering concrete. Um, fresh concrete doesn't have to be tempered. Uh, the other thing that happens is is that as hydration occurs, and we were going to talk about that a little bit tomorrow as we get into the cement side of things, um, as hydration occurs, or I might even get to it today, as hydration occurs we're growing crystals. So those crystals are growing, right? And as it's in a drum tumbling, those crystals are being busted. So they grow, they get busted. More grow, they get busted over the course of time. Well those don't regrow. But we end up with the stubs sitting there. And those stubs decrease the placeability of that concrete. So the whole idea is get that concrete down as fast as we can. And I'll give you an example on this. Some testing we did. We did six tests. I, I didn't put the slide in here. I should have. I should have. I had known I was going to have the question. Um, but we did. We did six independent tests on this, where we took concrete, we tested it out the outside of a, out the backside of a mobile mixer, we put it into a drum. 30 to 45 minutes, we took it out. At the end, we lost anywhere from 10 to 25 percent of our strength. Right? At 90 minutes, ASTM recommends discharging concrete because it's expired. In, a, in Canada, it's two hours you're allowed to go before, before discharging concrete, before, before expiring concrete. But keep in mind that that's not, it's two hours old, then it's no good. Right? It's a rate of degradation. So it's actually declined to the point where here we decided that we must get rid of it. Okay? What's the minimum time on a drum mix? Depends on its capacity. It depends how much you have in there. But typically it's 8 to 10 minutes. It depends on the quality of the mixing. Yes. So what are the fins like inside? What's the, what's the efficiency of it? Your batching, your batching sequence makes a difference as well. So there's many factors that affect um, your, your, your mixing time within a drum, but usually 8 to 10 minutes is what you need to mix a drum for. So uh, mixer is what, 10 seconds? And how can that be possible? It works. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to oversimplify that. It's about 10 seconds, isn't it? Yeah, it's very short. And how is that possible? Well, if you look at, say, a 10-yard batch, we're mixing that within 10 minutes. So we're putting about the same amount of time to mixing the batch. Now if you've ever been in the kitchen and helped your wife before and you're, you have a bunch of company over and you have, a, you have a bowl of pancake mix and you have a whole bunch of people so you've quadrupled that batch, you put all that flour and everything in and you go and mix it. How long you got to mix that thing for? Probably 10 minutes before you get that couple of teaspoons of salt evenly distributed throughout the whole thing, right? Now what happens if we want to just make, what happens if we're just going to make one for ourselves? We take a little bowl, we put a quarter of a cup of flour, an eighth of a cup of flour in there, just, to, uh, right, just those small components, how long do we need to mix that for? 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> He's sharp, hey. What's that, sorry? You think you can add that uh, mobile mixer in 10 minutes? I know you can. Only us. <laughs> uh, we can do it faster than that. We can do 60 yards an hour, one hour. Yeah. We're, we broke 100 an hour, but yeah, anyway. 100? Yeah. Yards or meters? Yards. Yeah. What are you at? 85 meters. An hour. We're at 60 yards. Times 1.303. What's that work out to? <laughs> How many you do that? meters? 85. 85. I know Albert likes numbers. 111.17 yards. <laughs> okay. Now, how, how is that? Now, now, the question has been has been raised. You know, how long how long does it need to mix for? Well, the answer to the question is long enough. So, if we mix it less, we're not getting the proper concrete that we're looking for. And if we mix it more, our product is degrading. 
We want to make sure we have enough depending on what we're using for mixing technology. So if we've got two drums in the yard, one's brand new and one's worn out, are we going to mix them both the same period of time with the same amount of concrete in them? The answer is no. If we have two mobile mixers with two augers that are two different augers, are we going to mix them? Are we going to get the same? We're going to be able to put the same amount of concrete into those two. And the answer is no again. So it really depends on our mixing technology.